I just got this Fujifilm Instax Wide 300 uh, instant camera from a antique store near me. I don't know why it's an antique store, or why it was that an antique store, because it's not old. But and anyway, I bought it for about a third of what it is new. Uh, I tried turning it on in the store, but if you can see in this counter thing up here, if I hit the power button, nothing happens. So I'm going to start by removing the batteries. But if I hit the power button now, that sounded like a noise to me, baby. I don't know what that red light means, but I'm sure I'll figure that out later. Oh my god, that lens comes out way further than I was expecting. So I should be able to... So that should be focused to things up to 3 meters, I think? Or maybe about 3 meters away, and then this one. Oh no, it's... Maybe that? Who knows? I'll figure it out later. I just need to see if this thing works. So let me turn it off first. Okay, so that's good. Let me put the battery door back on. All right. And then I'm gonna open the back up. Remove this empty film cartridge. Because having the electronics work it's just one step of the issue. If you'll remember with my SX-70, all the electronics and everything worked, but it wouldn't push the film out. So, if I push this into here, I'm lining up whatever this thing is the same way it was in the other one. And then, hopefully, if I turn this on, it'll spit out the dark side. Okay, then. what if I... Okay. That spit out the dark slide. That's good news. So, oh, 10. We got 10 frames left. So, first picture. I expect this to not work. I don't even think I can get far enough away for it to be... I mean, I don't expect it to be in focus. Not that I don't expect it to work. But let's test it out. Was not expecting flash, that's for sure. <laughs> and let us wait to see if that shows up. I hope it does. Oh, I'm seeing an image. I'm seeing an image appear. I don't know about you, but that's looking like an officially working picture. I wanted these. Hold on, stay there. All right. I wanted the wide version of the camera because I used to have one of these. It was this exact same one, sort of, damn it, <laughs> but not the wide version. It was called like the Neo Classic or something. But those images were only this big. Look how much I have to play with now. They're like, they're like twice the size of a normal one. I'd actually be able to see who's in the image now. <laughs> That's good. Cool. It works. That's great. The rest of this video will be me going out and playing with it. Good God, who would ever take a picture of me? That's you, though. That's what you look like. This is when I found out that the viewfinder kind of lies to you. In the viewfinder, I set it up so the two vertical poles were the frame of the image and that you could barely see that bottom horizontal pole kind of thing. That's what I remember anyway. I took this a few days ago. But when I took the picture, so the focus was supposed to be on the tea house in the background. When I took the picture though, as you can see, it got much more of the gate in there than I expected. And the tea house in the background is fuzzy. 
but that is because the tea house being fuzzy is another issue that I have still is you have to choose between two f uh, focus settings and the camera defaults to focusing closer and I keep forgetting to switch it to <laughs> focus further away so that's why the tea house is fuzzy this is a, all in all a throwaway shot but this is where I learned that the uh, viewfinder kind of lies to you a little bit and you'll see more of that in the uh, upcoming shots the white splotchy stuff that kind of looks like a light leak on the top left of the image that is well really the entire left side of the image that is not actually in the photo that is the light shining down on the photo when I took this picture to put it in the video if that makes sense I don't have a scanner <laughs> Alright, this picture's not done developing yet, but I can tell that the viewfinder on this thing is not quite accurate, because in the viewfinder I just had like the red vertical poles were the frame, and this sign down here wasn't even in the viewfinder, so I guess it's a much wider shot than I expected. Now we are in business. I framed up a shot pretty much like this, and I have this trail in the corner there, and that little lantern in the background. Uh, I had it just outside of the very edge of the viewfinder, in hopes that it would catch a wider shot and get both in there, and I was correct. Look at it. Yes, it's it's, it's exactly what I wanted. Again, it's not done developing. Uh, it'll get much darker like that one did. But like in the in the viewfinder, that trail and that lantern weren't even in it. So I kind of framed it to look like this. And then it brought all that in. So I'm happy that it turned out pretty much perfect. Going forward, you will start to see that I am labeling the pictures with the names of songs that I was listening to when I took the picture. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, I just thought it would be fun. But this is that tea house and ooh, it looks good. Welcome to Cure Beach here in fabulous Wilmington, North Carolina. I am here because this is where all the color lives. We are approximately, my car is off so I can't see what time it is, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like an hour or so before sunrise hit or sunset hits. Uh, there's, it's only going to get more and more cloudy as the day goes on, so we're going to lose light, but that's just something we have to deal with. Uh, I've already found the first thing I want to take a picture of. I can't flip this around, so I'm going to have to manually do it, but uh, luckily at that abandoned house. Oh, that's gonna get shot. I really like this house shot. Uh, I like this house quite a bit, and I shot it like four or five times. Uh, I guess I don't have footage of that because who knows? I thought I had footage, but I don't. You know, fun fact. First off, it's windy, so sorry for that, but I shot that house in normal mode and in lightened mode, because there's two modes on this camera, two little buttons, but uh, I shot in both because I didn't know. I, the picture I took of that tea house turned out very dark, and that was in normal mode, so I wanted to try it in lightened mode, and they both look pretty much the same. Uh, one's a little lighter. That house did have direct sunlight on it, unlike the tea house, but... You know, I'm just walking. <laughs> Ooh, you're mine. You can't hide. I'm getting you signed.
I've always wanted to shoot these super colorful houses here, but there really is no good angle on them when they have light. Another classic example of me not understanding how the viewfinder worked yet. I took this picture because I liked all the yellow and then the red and orange signs in the garage door. Uh, but as you can see, I definitely did not center the image properly. And also, with this camera, uh, it's, I feel like you need to get a lot closer to your subject than I think I do. Uh, but this house was like creeping me out and there were people watching me and I was like, uh, just take the picture and run. So yeah, overall this one was a failure. Alright, there's not much extra going down that way until you get to the very end of the road. And I have two shots left in this. I got another 10 pack in my backpack though. But since the sun is facing that away, I'm gonna walk backwards now. Sorry, it's probably really windy now. Yep, there that is. <laughs> and go back toward the car and then shoot stuff around there. My goal isn't to waste all my film, but it wouldn't be a bad thing if I did. Boom, classic failure again because I don't know how to use a viewfinder. I hate rangefinder cameras. Alright, I'm heading back to the, I almost said boat, <laughs> I'm leaving here, gonna see what greener pastures lay elsewhere. And then I began my short journey to the end of the room. So I could take a picture of my favorite creepy crawly tree until I discovered there were some rude people sitting under it. But at least I got a bad picture of some birds on a pole. I had two final shots left in the camera, which you'll see one of in a moment. But I just want to take this time to say thanks for watching. Uh, if you've got this camera and you have any tips and tricks, I mean, I'm not going to stop you from throwing them my way. Thanks for watching, and please look forward to the next installation. I don't know why I whispered that. Can you guess what my final pictures were of?